shit, get back here! Whoa, Kenny, what happened to your windshield? Those damn kids. see yourself <laughs> he looks just like a beach ball with a hat on doesn't he Frank doesn't he you almost ran me down you could have killed me come on tub be mellow Kenny was just messing around I waited an hour if you meant 10 o'clock why didn't you say 10 o'clock oh tub <laughs> you haven't done anything but complain since we got here if you want to piss and moan all day you might as well go home and bitch at your kids take your pick uh, okay, Kenny, let's hit the road. Damn heaters. Don't you think it's a little cold in here? Get the blankets out of the back. What are you doing? Knock it off. Another thing, this is open land. Most of the land around here is posted. I'm cold. Oh, quit your bitchin', tub. I wasn't bitchin'. It's centered. Centered? Next thing you'll be wearing a nightgown, Frank. Selling flowers at the airport. Well, you talk too much, Kenny. Okay, I won't say a word. Like, I won't say anything about a certain babysitter. What babysitter? Kenny. That's between us. That's confidential. You keep your mouth shut. You're asking for it. Asking for what? You'll see. Hey, are we hunting or what?
I've seen somebody gain weight from it. Who said I gained weight? Oh, pardon me, I take it back. You're just wasting away before my eyes, isn't he, Frank? Tub, you haven't seen your own balls in 10 years. Woohoo! Ah. What am I supposed to do? It's my glance. See anything? <laughs> what do you think that is, Tug? Walnuts on vanilla icing? I guess I didn't notice. I was lost. You were lost? Big deal. He went into a posted area. The son of a bitch could read. <laughs> Let's go after him. No way. The people out here don't mess around. It's the only sign of life we've seen all day. Well, maybe if we ask the owner of the land. I don't know about that. By the time we get to the truck, drive to the farmer's house and ask for permission, <laughs> and get back here, it'll be dark and the deer will be gone. Relax. You can't hurry nature. If we're meant to get that deer, we're going to get it. If not, we won't.
Hello? Uh, hi. I was wondering if my buddies and I could hunt on your property? There's not much deer around here. Sure. Alright, thank you. You got a short memory. What? I used to stick up for you. So you used to stick up for me. What's eating you? You shouldn't have just left me back there like that. You're a grown-up tub. You can take care of yourself. Anyway, if you think that you're the only one with problems, I can tell you that you're not. Is there something bothering you, Frank? Uh, never mind. What did Kenny mean about the babysitter? Kenny talks too much. Just mind your own business. That's an old timer. A real gray beard. Fifteen years if he's a day. Too old. God damn it! This is the worst day of hunting I've ever had. Bar none. This will be the first season since I was 15 that I didn't get my deer. It isn't the deer, Kenny. It's the hunting. There's all these forces out here and you just kind of have to go with them. You go with them? I came out here to get me a deer, not listen to a bunch of hippie bullshit. And if it wasn't for dimples here, I would have got it. That's enough, Kenny. And you, you're so busy thinking about that little jailbait of yours, you wouldn't know a deer if you saw one. Drop dead. I hate that post. There, it's dead. Knock it off, Kenny. I hate that tree. Oh, Kenny, calm down. Easy boy. I hate that dog. That's enough. You put that gun down. What did he ever do to you? He was just barking. I hate you. You shot me. Frank! I was just kidding around. It, it was a joke. Oh. Oh. Kenny. Oh. You shot him. I mean, where did it go in? Here. You're lucky. If it's on the left. It missed your appendix. If it hit your appendix, you'd really be in the soup. <sighs> Are you alright? There's some aspirin in the truck. Yeah, I'm alright. We should call an ambulance or something. Jesus, what are we gonna say? It, tell him exactly what happened. He was gonna shoot me, but I shot him first. No sir, I wasn't either. Okay. Easy does it, partner. Ugh. Let's go. <laughs> well, no sense in leaving this here. Kenny might get ideas. I can tell you one thing. We've really done it this time. This one definitely takes the cake. You get anything? No. Knew you wouldn't. That's why I told your friend. Uh, we've had an accident. She your friend, did you? I did. Hmm. Suppose you want to use the phone? If that's all right. Phone's in there. My friend shot your dog. Sure did it myself. Just couldn't.
He loved that dog. You ask him to? You ask him to shoot your dog? He was an old sick dog. Couldn't chew his food anymore. I would have done it myself, but I don't have a gun. You couldn't have anyway. Never in a million years. We'll have to take ourselves. Nearest hospital is over 50 miles away, and all their ambulances are out anyway. Oh, I know a shortcut. Dear, would you get something where I could write this down? Hmm. Maybe four miles, and then make a sharp left onto Express Lane Road. And that should bring you out to the hospital. Thank you. There's a cray carrier in the back for your friend. I wish I had a flashlight I could give you or something, but I don't. I'll leave the porch light on for you though. Thank you so much. Good luck with your friend. Frank said it missed your appendix. I've already had my appendix out. All right, we'll have you in a nice warm bed before you can say Jack Robinson. Just as long as I don't have one of those male nurses. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. All right, get ready, set, here we go. You fat moron. You aren't good for diddly. What do you know about fat? What do you know about glands? What do you know about me? All right. No more. All right. No more laughing. No more. All right, Tub, I promise. I'm sorry, Tub. I'll be down at the truck. Warm enough? Now, how does reverse work on this thing? Ugh. All the way to the left and up. Frank! What? If it sticks, don't force it. One thing, Kenny. You really gotta hand it to those Japanese. It's a very ancient and very spiritual culture, but they can still make a hell of a truck. Look, Tub, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt that way. Honest to God, I didn't. You should have said something. I did. When? A couple of hours ago. I guess I wasn't paying attention. That's true, Frank. You don't pay attention very much. Tub, what happened back there? I should have been more sympathetic. I realized that. You were going through a lot, and I just want you to know it wasn't your fault. He was asking for it. You think so? Absolutely. It was him or you. I, I would have done the same thing in your shoes, no question. I'm gonna have to stop. I can't feel my fingers. How you doing, partner? I'm cold. Well, don't feel like the Lone Ranger. It's worse inside. Take my word for it. You really need to get that windshield fixed. Look, his blankets blew off.
Now, Kenny, it's no use whining about being cold if you're not even going to try and keep yourself warm. You got to do your share. They bl blew off. Hold on to them then. Why are we s stopping, Frank? Because if me and Tub don't get warmed up, we're going to freeze solid. And then where will you be? So hold on your horses. Two coffees, please. Thank you. Just what the doctor ordered. <sighs> Tub, I've been thinking. All you said about me not paying attention, it's true. It's okay. No, no. I, I really had that coming. I, I, I guess I've just been a little too interested in old number one. I've had a lot on my mind. Not that that's any excuse. Forget it, Frank. I sort of lost my temper back there. We've all been a little bit on edge. It isn't just that. You want to talk about it? Just between us? Sure, Frank. Just between us. Well, Tub, I, I think I'm going to be leaving Nancy. Oh, Frank. Oh, Frank. Tub, have you ever been in love? Well... I mean, really in love with your whole being. I don't know. When you put it like that, I don't know. You haven't, then. Nothing against you, but y you just... You'd know if you had. This isn't just some bit of fluff I'm talking about. Who is she, Frank? Roxanne Brewer. Cliff Brewer's kid? The babysitter? You can't just put people into categories like that, Tub. That's why the whole system is wrong. And that's why this country is going to hell. In the robo. But she can't be more than... Fifteen. She'll be 16 in May. May 4th, 3.27 p.m. Hell, Tub. A hundred years ago, she'd have been an old maid by that age. Juliet was only 13. Juliet? Juliet Miller? Jesus, Frank, she doesn't even have breasts! Not Juliet Miller. The real Juliet. Tub, don't you see how you're dividing people up into categories? He's an executive, she's a secretary, he's a truck driver, she's 15 years old. Tub, this so-called babysitter, this so-called 15-year-old, has more in her little finger than most of us have in our whole being. I can tell you that this little lady is really something special. I know the kids like her. She's opened up whole worlds for me that I never knew were there. And what does Nancy think of all this? She doesn't know. You haven't told her? Not yet. It's not so easy. She's been damn good to me for all these years, and then there's the kids to consider. Hey, I guess you think I'm a complete bastard. No, Frank. I don't think that. Well, you ought to. Frank. When you've got a friend, it means you've always got someone on your side, no matter what. That's the way I feel about it, anyway. You mean that, Tub? Sure I do. You don't know how good it feels to hear that. Ah! Ah! It hurts, Frank. It wouldn't have hurt so much if you would have just stayed put. Now, we're going to the hospital. Got that? Say it. I'm going to the hospital. 
I'm going to, to the hospital. Again. I'm g going to, to the hospital. Now just keep saying that to yourself and before you know it, we'll be there. I just pulled a real boner. What's that? I left the directions on that table back there. That's okay. I remember them pretty well. I, I don't know how much further I can make it. Me too. It's freezing. How, how about we pull off at uh, this roadhouse up here? Frank, in the shower, on the freeway. I've even got stuff in the paper towel machine at work. There's nothing wrong with your glands, like, at all? No, there never was. Does Alice know? Nobody knows. That's the worst of it, Frank. Not being fat. I never got a kick out of being thin, but the lying. Having to lead a double life like a spy or a hitman. This sounds strange, but... I feel sorry for those guys, I really do. I know what they go through, always having to think about what you have to say and do, always feeling like people are watching you, trying to catch you at something, never able to just be yourself. Like when I made a big deal about only having an orange for breakfast, and then scarf all the way to work, Oreos, Mars bars, Twinkies, Sugar Babies, Snickers. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? Tough. Tough. Come on. Come on. My friend's hungry. He needs four orders of pancakes and bring plenty of butter and syrup. Frick! Uh, no wiping. Way in, tub. Get down to business. That's it, tub. Mm -hmm. 
clean your plate. Beautiful tub. Are you full? I'm full. I've never been so full. They must have blown off of him. <laughs> well, they're not doing him any good. We might as well get some use out of them. What was that? I'm going to the hospital. Atta boy. Frank, you know that farmer? He told Kenny to kill the dog. You're kidding! <laughs> that Kenny, what a card. <laughs> Go to the hospital. I'm going to the hospital. Fly the ocean in a silver plane See the jungle when it's wet with rain Just remember till you're home again You belong to me